has the last year kind of been like for you here? Really just one day at a time for me. Um, that's kind of been my motto, and I've just kind of tried to stick with it. And today, when I woke up, I honestly couldn't believe it. It felt like yesterday that I did it, and we're actually playing the Patriots again this week. So a little deja vu. We've talked to a few guys, Trey and even Harrison Phillips over the years, about these long rehabs and how not only hard physically, but hard mentally they can be. How much of that difficulty did you have to deal with? I think for me, I had been through this once um, my senior year, you know, training for pro day. So I kind of knew what to expect, knew what milestones I needed to hit. And then, you know, here, the, the training staff, uh, Joe Meek, I worked with him every day and he just gave me a plan every day and a schedule. And I just tried to follow that to the best of my ability. And that honestly made it go pretty fast. I know you just touched on a little bit. What were the emotions like being able to, you know, practice again and be a part of this for the first time? Yeah, I mean, I really didn't sleep much at all last night because I was excited and, and nervous to get back out there. but. After just a few live reps, you know, I felt I felt pretty good. My legs felt like I was running on a beach, uh, a little slow, but you know that'll come. And it was just awesome to be back out there. You talk about having to take it step by step. What are the next steps now? Because I'm assuming you don't go right from day one. Okay, game plan time. You know, what, what do you got to do next? Yeah, I just need to get in shape and you know get my technique and fundamentals and you know just watch watch and practice today will be a huge first step for me to see how I look because it's hard to tell when you haven't done it for so long you know like what do I need to fix and then you know every day just try to get a little bit better and, and see where I can go do you get more antsy the closer you get here to wanting to be back on a field and being a, a player again I think I was the most antsy just for today uh, now I can just kind of get into into my process and try to get a little routine down and, and start following that and then just try to progress and get back to being able to help the guys you know if they need me Watching this on the on the sideline, you know, what have you been seeing? What, you know, you got two new guards in there. That the whole line's had all kinds of injury issues. You know, how much do you get eager to want to be a part of it and help? Obviously, I mean, those guys are going out there and scrapping and fighting and, and, and playing very hard. And I've been, you know, fortunate just to be a part of it in the room, the O line room, and we have a great group. Uh, it's been, a, you know, a lot of fun to just be a part of that. Well, I haven't really been out there with them. So today, you know, just being out there, if I. If I'm running scout team, defense, if I can help with any little thing, you know, just trying to help those guys. But, you know, it's been fun to watch them this year, and, and they've they've played well. How close, how soon do you think you'd be a part of this on a field in a game? Oh, I don't know yet. After the first day, it's hard to know. <laughs> Fair enough. Thanks, Ike, man.